So the ways that rural health collaboratives have addressed or tried to overcome data collection challenges has been more of a reliance on self-reported data, which has its own limitations, but it's certainly better than no data at all. And these data are usually connect, collected by phone, uh, through email, uh, video conferencing, and they even mentioned the old school method of snail mail. So sending out information for patients to complete and send back to them by mail. Others have engaged convenience and grocery stores, and they are using those sites as an opportunity to meet people where they are and where they are likely to go in order to collect data and information. Peer support specialists are people with lived experience, people who have experienced trauma, um, people who struggle with mental health, people who are in recovery from substance abuse, who are received training and in certain states are actually certified as a peer support specialist. Peer support programs and that one-on-one -on -one kind of uh, coaching and trusting relationship is driven mainly by in-person contact. Uh, your peer support specialist is picking you up to take you to your appointment, uh, picking you up to go have coffee on a bench at the park. Um, so we heard from folks that one strategy was just connecting by phone, you know, having some of the, the, the peer groups move to online and virtual helps mitigate some of those transportation barriers and also some of the stigma for having, you know, having your car parked maybe outside of the mental health clinic for all to see in your small community. So there's been some, some positives to this as well. Rural communities have had challenges of connectivity and technology. What we heard from rural collaboratives is that there are often times when uh, the connection to their patients, to partners, even when they're just trying to get together with staff, has been stymied by spotty or unreliable access to uh, broadband. And others have shared the challenge of engaging patients who do not have access to technology equipment. So not everyone has a cell phone. And so the way that rural health collaboratives have responded to these challenges have been, again, through innovation and creativity. And a couple of the ways that they've done that is some rural providers are offering what they're calling curbside visits, or they are um, loaning iPads to patients who are in their vehicles and who are there for uh, virtual visits at their clinic. And then another one that I think is especially creative is that there are schools and libraries and hospitals and even a local McDonald's who offered their parking lot so that community members can use their Wi-Fi as a hotspot. I think when we um, first started hearing from the rural collaboratives and everyone was just in sprint mode and just figuring stuff out on the fly and learning as they go. And so we're starting to see folks move from like the sprint mentality into the marathon mentality to say that this is, you know, the pandemic is here to stay for a while. 